there welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is a type of video that I thought I really wouldn't record um, because I am really shocked at myself for the change of heart that I've had recently well I don't want to say recently but the change of heart that I've had if you've been following this channel then you know that I am and I have been a um, avid and uh, I don't want to say die hard but I've I've really been a loyal Apple customer and I enjoy Apple products uh, that's not going to change so I don't want that to get blurred in this video but um, I have come to the realization that I enjoy using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus over my new iPhone 11 Pro Max um, I don't even know if it's considered new at this point but um, you know I did unboxing videos on that phone and uh, my um, initial thoughts and feelings about the phone and kind of like somewhat review type of videos too. So if you do want to check out any of my opinions regarding the iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max, they're on my channel. Um, type in Britney Bundles iPhone or something like that and it should pop up. But I decided to create this video to go over some of the reasons why I am um, enjoying using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus over my iPhone nowadays. Um, if I had to choose between which phone, if I only could take one phone with me, I would definitely take my Galaxy over my iPhone. And this is really shocking to me because I never thought I would say anything like that. Um, but that is how I truly feel. And this is how I've been feeling for a while now. Um, so I wanted to create a video and let you all know why. So if you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So the first disclosure that I want to get out is that I am recording from my, um, iPad. So, um, please excuse the quality if you've noticed that it changed. Typically I record from my iPhone, um, 12 Pro Max, but I am going to record on my iPhone, iPad today, um, so that I can kind of show you comparisons between the two phones that I am going to be referencing. Um, so I have notes here, so I'm going to be referring down to my notes. Um, I put my notes in the note section on my iPhone. Um, and I'm going to title this video something along the lines of why I now enjoy using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus over my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the first point that I have on my notes is the size. Um, so I am someone that loves big phones. I, I just do, you know, when the phones start getting bigger and bigger, I just enjoyed it more. Why? It's just easier for me to hold. It's easier for me to um, manipulate. Uh, now, you know, with a smaller phone, it is easier to kind of like, you know, hold it in your hand and just maybe play certain games and things like that. But I'm I, what I'm referring to when I say it's easier is I'm accustomed to it and it's easier for me to be able to see uh, the screen better, um, movies better, and um, it's easier for me to be able to like type and write out things versus a smaller phone because I do have nails. So I kind of, the way that I type and the way that I text is a little bit different opposed to how I did when I had shorter nails. So it just works for me. Uh, like I said, I'm used to it. I like the screen. Um, it works well with my nails. And um, yeah, I just, I prefer a bigger phone. So uh, the fact that the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is bigger than the iPhone 12 Pro Max is a plus for me. Now, it's not too, too much bigger. And they may even, I mean, some may argue and say they're about the same size, which I mean, they, they kind of are, as you can see here. But this one feels bigger for me uh, or to me. This one just feels bigger. I like the shape of this one, um, although you really can't see the shape of the iPhone because it's in this case. But I do have like a... A display iPhone 12 that I can show kind of show you what the sides look like so I mean they're kind of square but they're not too square it's like square round whereas the galaxy's edges are um, pretty square so I like the shape of the galaxy phone I do so that's the first reason why I have been using my galaxy more and why I like my galaxy more is because I like the shape of it and I like the way that it feels in my hand and I ultimately like the size um, and then also like with the Galaxy, you get a full screen. Um, with my iPhone, I don't get the full screen. As you can see, like with this part, you know, that takes up a little bit of the screen. And then around the perimeter, there's, you know, a little bit of screen taken as well. With my Galaxy, it's just, it's all screen. Uh, it's all screen. So let me go ahead and go to the next reason why I enjoy using my Galaxy now over my iPhone. Um, the next reason is, where did I go on my notes? Okay, the pen. So um, I have been enjoying using this pen. Now, I didn't think that I would really use the pen like that. 
Um, I thought that it was going to be something that I sporadically use, you know, maybe occasionally here and there if I go to like a meeting and didn't bring a pen or paper, or if I need to quickly jot down a note, or if I'm just, you know, thinking of something and I just need to put it down and I don't have anything to write with. I thought that it would kind of be um, a tool that I would use for instances like that. Now, I still do use this pen for things like that, but I you do use the pen very uh, frequently for just writing. Um, I will listen to a video or like a, a sermon or um, create a um, format of how I want to plan my, my content for the week or for the month. And I just write notes. Like I literally will go ahead and I will start writing. And I really enjoy doing that. Um, I thought that I would prefer just typing notes out, but I really prefer writing now. So the pen is another reason why I find myself gravitating toward my Galaxy Note. I think I am going to upgrade it and get the newest Galaxy Note out there, but I really, really do enjoy my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, now, I don't want any of you to think that I don't like iPhone or I don't like Apple because I really do. I am still going to have an iPhone and I am still going to use Apple products. I use Apple products for the majority of my personal and professional life. I use my uh, Mac computer. I use my uh, iPad that I'm recording on. I use my, my Apple Watch, my AirPods. Uh, my laptop, uh, my Mac Book Pro. So I use Apple a lot. Um, so I'm still, and I, I definitely use my iPhone to record. Um, so I'm definitely going to still use my iPhone, but I wanted to do this video to kind of outline why I enjoy my Galaxy now more than I do my iPhone. So the pen, the pen is very, um, it's just very handy. You know, I use it for more than just writing notes. I use it for more than just jotting down groceries or, or different ideas. I actually use it, um, to write out different things and it works really really well for me i have like a lot of notes that i've written down so that's another reason that i have gravitated toward my galaxy over my iphone now the next point is my camera yes i said camera for some reason you know i really do enjoy the camera on the iphone 12 pro max but if i really think about it i think that i enjoy using the camera on my iphone 11 pro max better than i do on the iphone 12 pro max I made a video a while ago just explaining how I was having an issue or a glitch with um, taking pictures as screenshots for like my thumbnails on my YouTube videos when I was using my phone. And I notified Apple and it was something that they're working on. And honestly, that issue is resolved for me now. I don't know if it got resolved with an update or what happened, but um, I did notify Apple and they said they were working on it. And that glitch is no longer a factor in my life. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't affect my thumbnails or my screenshots like that anymore. Um, everything works well. So I do enjoy using the camera on the iPhone. I also enjoy recording uh, my videos on the iPhone and I enjoy editing on the iPhone. So I don't think that will stop because I'm just comfortable doing that. However, when I'm looking to take a really, really good crisp picture, I now find myself gravitating to my Galaxy Note 10 Plus over my iPhone. Now, I don't know the specs on which camera is technically better. I just go off of what works best for me. So we were um, at a family outing and I found myself taking pictures with the Galaxy and it just looks so much better. Um, I've tried to take pictures on my iPhone. Typically, I do take pictures on my iPhone, but just comparing the two, I was comparing the pictures one day and I noticed that the quality was a lot better um, on my Galaxy Note. Now, again, I used to think that the quality was better on my iPhone and it may have been when I was using the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, there have been lots of reviews where people have said that they really enjoyed the iPhone 11 Pro Max camera over the 12 Pro Max camera. So maybe that's, you know, the difference between my opinion. Um, but I am now using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus for, camp for pictures opposed to my iPhone. Um, the next reason that I gravitate more toward my Galaxy is the fact that uh, it gives me more options to work, um, which I know that may seem kind of um, contradictory being that, you know, most of my products are Apple products. You may be thinking like, you know, okay, well, if you like working on an Android system better, then why do you have all the Apple products? Well, I still love Apple. I'm still going to use Apple. I'm, I'm most comfortable using Apple, but I like the fact that I can um, access like Microsoft Word and different things on this phone. Like this phone really serves as like a mini computer for me. Um, and when I used to hear people say that they can turn their Android into like a computer, I used to just be like, okay, 
whatever, but you really can. You really, really can. I find myself able to do more on this than I am on my iPhone as far as different, um, as far as like business flexibility and variety. I'm able to download more apps and I'm able to just work more efficiently with this phone. Now I have a good amount of storage on both phones. Um, neither phone is filled up or even close to being filled up. So I know that I'm not gravitating toward the Galaxy just because of that. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. But yes, I do enjoy using Microsoft Word on my Galaxy and off the Microsoft options that they have available. And then the last point that I wanted to go over, I mean, I can go on for days as to why I like this phone over my iPhone 12 Pro Max. But the last reason that I will point out in this video is the fact that I can customize this phone a lot more than I can customize this phone. Um, in the settings, they just have more options available for um, formats and um, different um, like fonts, you know, whatever font you want to appear on your phone or, um, you know, just have it just it, it's easier to customize it. Uh, there are still options available in settings to customize your um, iPhone, but the options are typically do you want a um, larger text or a smaller text? Do you want uh, light mode or dark mode? You know, things like that, which there's nothing wrong with it. But I'm just, you know, saying that you do get more uh, customizable options to make this phone feel like your personality and feel like something that is customized strictly for you. So that is why I enjoy using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus over my iPhone. Again, I do love iPhone. Um, I do love Apple. So, you know, all of you out there like, no, she switched to the other side. I mean, I'm on both sides. Uh, if there is, you know, a side because, you know, there are some people that are just like, no, you know, I'm all, all day Apple. No, I'm all day Galaxy or, or Samsung. And you have to choose, you know, you have to choose Android or, you know, but um you know, I just thought this would be kind of a fun video, insightful video. I do get the questions uh, very often as far as, you know, which phone do you use mo the most and which phone would you recommend me get and which phone would you recommend to someone? And it all depends on what you're looking for. Um, but yes, I think that if I had to choose, I would definitely choose my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, so I do want to thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.